Hey there, YouTube people, how are you today? I bet you are beautiful, fantastic as always. So before I'm gonna show you how I made the latest cartoon, um, I wanna talk about the channel a little bit because if you are new to the channel, you probably watched like a couple of cartoons and that's it. But if you're brave enough to get inside my channel and click on the videos tab, you may run into about 40 videos, and most of them are cartoons, and I'm guessing that you didn't watch all of them if you are new to the channel, so please go check it out. Okay, so some of you asked me on my Discord channel if I can share the process of how I make a cartoon from scratch, and guess what, I did it live on my Twitch TV, and not a lot of people know about it, so that's why I'm showing it on the screen right now. It's pretty much lifeless. Sometimes I create stuff in 2D, 3D, sometimes I, I'm paint, and sometimes I play games. So you are more than welcome to follow me. It's twitch.tv slash alondantv. I'll be very happy to see some of you on the chat on my next live stream. Okay, cool, let's begin. So, background is usually the first thing I do when I do a cartoon for YouTube. It doesn't have to be the first thing, but this is usually what I'm doing. But before the background, there is something else which is much more important, the idea. Yes, so I had this stupid idea in my brain and my brain told me, yo, this is stupid, you must make a cartoon out of it. And I did. So I made a little script thingy, few lines, it's not really a script, you know, it's just a guidance of how to pronounce thing, if you need to scream, if you need to whisper, if you need, you know, how to say it. So I sent it over to James, the odd ones out, and it was cool enough to make it real fast and he made few variations and versions so I could pick up what I like. And then I recorded my own Santa Claus, which is Santa Claus. Uh, you watch the cartoon, you know what I'm talking about. And if you didn't, <laughs> What are you doing here? Anyway, then I started to work on the background. I know I don't talk about the background so much because it's just a background, I had an idea, and it's only one background for this cartoon, so whatever. I used Krita, which is open source and it's free. I don't really know how to use Krita, I just like to mess around with it and it was really fun. The next thing I did was the character design for the kid that voiced by James and I had an idea to make him like some kind of an emo with the I don't care about anything attitude and that's kind of what I did. Then I posed it like, you know, I don't care, like whatever. And I messed around with the colors until I was happy and that's about it. Animation. There's a lot of things to talk about animation in general, but not in this case, because I made this cartoon real fast, it's really primitive, low frame rate, you know, it's 24 frames per second, but it's based on twos and threes, as you can see on the timeline, and unfortunately I didn't have the file that I animated the kid, because what I did first was animating the kid, posing Santa next to it to have pro proportion, you know, to see who's bigger or smaller where each one standing. And then I animated all the animation of the kid. And I even colored it, which is something I usually do at the end. Then I started to animate Santa. Once the kid animation was done, I started to animate Santa because I was enjoying this much more because I didn't really know how I'm going to animate him, what he's going to do. I had an idea from the script, but you know, I didn't do uh, storyboards for this, so it's all pretty much um, kind of freestyle. So I had an idea on the spot and I'm drawing it as I go. And then I'm like, okay, I like this pose, let's animate it, let's add another frame or two or five, whatever I need. So I want him to be like, you know, insane in a way and weird, like most of my cartoons, what a surprise, and you know, the kid, I want the kid like to be, yeah, whatever at first, but then, at the moment, you know, Santa Claus, Santa Claus, is kinda have the weird look, you know, if you saw the cartoon, you know what I'm talking about, then if you look carefully on the kid, because probably nobody will look at the kid at this point of time. If you look at the kid, once Santa is kind of looking towards the kid, the kid is kind of scared. After he was so I don't care attitude, 
and brave, now he is shaking. And I mean really shaking, look at his face. And that's the general idea of how I'm thinking when I'm making a freestyle animation. And when I'm saying freestyle animation, I mean something without a detailed script, no storyboards, no character sheets, no nothing, just idea become into cartoon, I do it on the spot, I design on the spot, and the workflow is a mess. This is not how you do a serious production, okay? Let's say if I work at a studio or with a client, this is not how I do a project, because it's so much freestyle and not much thinking into it, so it may cause you so much trouble and issues and fixes and tweaks later, you don't want to make a real actual, you know, dedicated cartoon or whatever project in this freestyle way. But I must mention that this is one of the best practices. If you are practicing on animation, I cannot recommend enough to do freestyle animation. If you have the idea, just make it on the spot, on, on every action you do, it doesn't have to be 2D animation, that's why I'm saying action, every pose, every you know change, your brain will motivate you to continue. That's why it's so great and I highly recommend it. So yeah, as you noticed, I'm not talking a lot about the technical of how I did every single frame here, because it's not that important, you can see what I do here, but I'll try to explain a little bit about it, and once again, it's not a tutorial, it's another opportunity for me to talk with you and give you some tips from a professional animator point of view, which is funny, because this is not how you make a professional cartoon, this is the wrong workflow as I mentioned before, but you can learn a thing or two from what I'm showing and saying if you like and it may help you, I hope so. If you're following me for a while you probably know that my favorite 2D animation software is Toon Boom Harmony and here I'm using version 16 which is the latest version and it came out not long ago. So in this case I split the characters into few layers, the main body, the head, the mouth and the eyes. Usually I don't do this, I actually draw frame by frame in one layer and I do fixes manually if I need to, but in this case I knew that I'm gonna change some stuff and maybe moving the mouth and the eyes with the pegs and a peg is a way to control and move a layer just like what you see right now on the screen I am moving and rotating the peg that controls the eyes and it's a very dynamic and easy way to control any element in your production so the last touch is usually something I do at the very end probably when I am at the end of the animation or maybe after I animate everything and I need to paint or fix outlines that are not satisfying me and stuff like that, usually it's for fixes and tweaks. Here I'm painting the red parts of the suit of Santa and then I do the same for the white parts and I complete some outlines that I forgot about or maybe I missed, that's why I split the layers exactly for this because when I forgot about something it's easier to fix. I continue in painting the head parts, the eyes and the hat and the teeth and everything. I have all the palettes on the right, you can see Santa and Kid, everyone have its own palette. And that's about it, that's, this is where I do the old painting and I'm doing my best to see if I forgot to paint something or maybe I have a mistake with the outlines or something like that. And I see that I forgot to add the shadow layer, so I did it here once again and I move every single frame the shadow when Santa is moving so it won't stay static. Then I render everything and upload it to YouTube so you can watch it. And I have like two views because YouTube don't really appreciate the hard work. But never mind that, it was fun to make and I hope that you will watch my future content because I'm trying to upload at least one or two videos every month. If you look at the videos on my channel, if you're new to this, I have so many other cartoons that you may have missed, please go watch it, it helps me a lot because YouTube is not really promoting my channel, it's putting it down, down there and it doesn't really appreciate my cartoons. So if you can help, just watch my cartoons, it helps a lot. I wanna wish you the best year and I hope that the upcoming year 
will be the most amazing year of your life. So I'm sending you hugs and much love. In the meanwhile, see you later, alligator. Bye.